Why? Are you scared? Because I did the categories and I'm probably going to say a wrong category. <laughs> Welcome to Table Knots. My name is Max. I'm Danielle. And today we're going to talk about Danielle's top five favorite games. Six. Six favorite games. Yes. She's devised up a little plan. I think she has categories and we're gonna try and see if I can guess them uh, before revealing them and discussing them. And uh, we'll see We'll see how well I fare. Okay. Is this in any particular order or are you just doing categories? I'm, just, I'm doing categories, but one is like an overall. Oh, so you do have an overall number one. Yes. Okay, cool. Start us off. Party game. Party game. Oh, party game. I could look at the shelf. But that, that would be mean. I have like what I imagine are two separate choices here. Monikers. Is that your final answer? That's my first choice, but it doesn't sound like That's it's right with right. the way you said that. Is it, it's not, it's not just one, is it? No. Man, uh, give me one more hint and then you'll reveal. I don't know how to give you a hint. Wavelength. Not, no. What am I? Taco Cat Go Cheese Pizza? No. Skull King? Nope. The Crypto? No, I don't like that game. Co <coughs> what? <laughs> I don't like it as much as you like code it. Code names? No. Monikers, code names, The You're Crypto. You're forgetting one and. Just one. Resistance? No. You hate I, Resistance. I don't like Resistance. What am I forgetting? See if I can even guess it. I took it off the top. Off the very top? Mm hmm. What was on the very. Don't get got. Yes. Ah, <laughs> okay. All right. Don't get Don't got. Get that. Yeah, this is a game that we played in uh, Florida with your parents and David and Erica. First time and only time we've ever played it, but we yes. played it over like a period of three, three, four days, I think. Uh, really fun game. You never know what's gonna happen in it. I'm really looking forward to playing this one with Jamie and Jeff in Orlando. Yeah. I think that'll be a good one. Why do you like this? Because it's um, not it really just, a game? I, I don't know. It was just, it's not a board game. but No, but every, it's okay. Yeah, it was just fun because nobody trusted each other. <laughs> yeah. And I don't know, it was just really fun. I really it liked... It led all of our conversations. Like. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. I really liked seeing like when your dad got involved. Oh, yeah. Because it's just like good. people that you don't expect to get involved. And uh, the, the grand story here is that we were at dinner and the waitress was taking our orders and your dad, I mentioned something about how like, I don't remember if I was 21 the last time I was in Florida or whatever, and then he asked how old I was. And I, you know, did not think anything at all about that. And that was what his his thing was. So immediately he said, ha, you got got. <laughs> and we all While died the and the waitress is just, order. <laughs> has no idea what's happening. No clue. And we're just all dying, like cracking up. And your mom got in on a couple of them. She didn't participate as much. Yeah. Uh, but she did get a couple of them done. And uh, I don't think we kept score or anything. No, I, mean, I think like I won one day, you won another day, and maybe David or Eric won it. But like we didn't really care. Just a good time. Yeah. Yeah. I'm excited to try this one again uh, with different people or more people or them again. So it's a good lake win too. We need to take it to the lake. Yeah. We ha Why haven't we taken it to the lake yet? I think we have, but... Not this summer, though, is what I mean. Oh, no, not this year. Because we should. Yeah. I mean, Linda, my mom, my dad, us. Like, that's still a good enough group. We need to take this. We need to take this over there. Okay. All right, what's next? What what category is next? Um, worker placement. Targi. No. Worker placement that's not Targi. What hope... other worker placements do you play? I hope this is worker placement. <laughs> I hope I know what that means. <laughs> um, I'm pretty sure I've heard you use this word. OK. Worker placement. It could be obsession, because that's kind of worker placement, but not really. Yes, it is. Is it? Because that's what it is. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it, it is worker placement to an extent. I mean, it definitely is. It 100% is. You're taking workers that uh, you have in your available pool of workers, mm -hmm. and you're, you're sending them to certain areas, and then they're not available anymore. The, the one thing that makes it less worker placement to me is that there's no shared board. So in a lot of worker placement games, you're fighting over a particular spot. If there's a really good spot, you need to know, hey, I need to get there before you do. So like, I need to go there faster than you. Whereas in this game, you're sending workers and you're, it's, you're choosing your workers that are gonna be locked out and stuff, but- Cool, he's all the way Yeah, up there. he is way up there. <laughs> uh, but there's no shared action economy. So you're never messing with someone else. Um, I would say you can still categorize this it as a worker placement. This is my worker placement game. <laughs> We love Obsession. Mm -hmm. uh, we need to play it again. We actually just got the uh, Wessex and Upstairs Downstairs expansion and the promo tiles. 
Uh, so we need to try it out with those. I think, have you only played it one time? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's well, why we, I don't really remember how to play it, but I know I liked yeah, it. Yeah, we really liked it. We had a good time. It's one that we have wanted, to, we've taken it to the lake twice in a row and just haven't got it, the chance to play it yet. Mostly. I like the theme. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah, the theme is great. It's that Pride and Prejudice, Victorian England type thing. Um, I mean, I guess I kind of just read off the box, Pride, Intrigue, and Prejudice <laughs> in Victorian England. Uh, but great theme, I think it works really well. This was on my, was it on my list for most thematic? I can't really recall, but I think it's a really thematic game, although is the theme the is game, still. That's the game we were talking about when Josh fell out of his chair. Oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> that is what we were talking about when Dula fell out of his chair. Yeah, it's a very thematic game. It's not like the most uh, Ameritrash game, which a lot of people associate with thematics all the time. It's still a Euro game, uh, but the theme shows through in the actions that you're taking. Everything makes sense. You're sending a, a butler and two gentlemen to go play lawn golf, something like that. <laughs> It'll make sense, right? You always do that, duh. That's obsession, your worker placement. Kind of. Kind of. <laughs> um, next one is a card game. Taco Cat Go Cheese Pizza. No. I didn't think so. It's just what the first thing was on my mind. A card, oh, Silver Bullet. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, Jamie and Jeff. <laughs> if you haven't watched Jamie and Jeff at Foster the Meeple, they have played this game and done a tutorial on this game. I'm really scared this cat's gonna knock so many things down. And this dog is just sitting here staring, waiting for him to pounce. Uh, they love this game. One of their favorite, if not, it is their favorite two player game. Probably in their top 10 games of all time. We've only played it According to their five Instagram, times? they played it 46 times this year. This year, yeah, that's a lot. <laughs> we played it five times, probably. I mean, that's a guess, but I mean, it's at least four, five, or six around yeah. that area. Um, I really like it. I think it's really simple, fun. I love the card art. I think it's pretty, like it's a good looking game. But what makes you like Silver Bullet? Because I'm surprised you like it, Why? honestly. Why do you think I wouldn't like it? I, I guess it's not that I, so you're very competitive. So it makes sense that you like 1v1 games because they're, they're competition. But at the same time, at least our experience in board games until recently has been you don't really like to compete against me one-on-one -on -one because you just assume, duh, not assume anymore, I suppose, but assumed that like you were gonna lose and it wouldn't be fun. But I think recently you've kind of changed your mind on that. I think you're insulting me. How's that insulting you? Is that not true? You're just assuming. No, you're assuming. Is that not accurate? You're assuming that I'm assuming. Is that not true? I don't think so. You don't think so? You I don't, don't like to many... play things I'm not good at. Right, so that's board game. Well, no. <laughs> that's not what I meant. That's not what I meant. I just want to remind you who won all four games we played on Board Game Arena. The you other won game. six out of seven games yes. out of our last seven games. Right. But we've never really played like 1v1 directly because th there's a difference between this and this and, and Obsession. Obsession I'm competing is- competing against you. Guys. Right. You're, well, you're, I'm competing you're against competing you against me to get a higher score, but yes. I'm not directly hurting. You can in Obsession, but very limited I like piles. games like take that kind of You games. do? Like Targi, the time that we played That's true. That. That's true. I forget yeah. that we both really like Targi. Yeah. Okay. So maybe I'm just, maybe I am just assuming and I shouldn't. Yeah, it you're wasn't assuming me. I'm bad at No, 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 games. that's not, I'm assuming you did not like direct take that interaction. I like that unless it's against me. Well, in a 1v1 game, <laughs> it's bound to be against you. No, All I'm right, not. that's Silver Bullet by Bezier Games. Card game, favorite card game. Yes. What's next? Co-op. Not pandemic. Absolutely not. <laughs> I need to put a caveat there. We don't like, we're not pandemic haters. We just don't. She might be, I might be too. Maybe we are, sure, we'll we'll accept the narrative. We hate Pandemic, it's the worst. Maybe if we worst. replayed it now that we I, actually play board games more. I think that would be the case. I probably, and I don't know, it's been years. I feel like, because I was the only one that was into board games at the time, that I probably quarterbacked the crap out of that game. And I try not to quarterback anymore because I see it as a very negative thing that I don't want anyone else to have to experience. But like three plus years ago, maybe I maybe I did. Maybe I played the game for everybody and that's why we hate it. Like, I don't know. I don't remember the experience we had, but. Um, it wasn't good. It wasn't very fun. Yeah. So not pandemic, what's not your next Not pandemic. Game? Oh yeah, what are we talking about? <laughs> co-op game. What have we even played that's cooperative? Um, Cthulhu Death May Die. Yeah, I was gonna say that's your number one <laughs> game, right? It is, right? I had to think though. <laughs> I had to think. This is Cthulhu Death May Die by Simon and Rob Davio and Eric Lang. Uh, it's a dungeon crawler, kind of. I mean, you're not like opening new spaces as you walk, but kind of a dungeon crawler. 
um, where you're facing off against the great old ones and their cultists and monsters and you're getting more and more close to death by insanity as the game goes on. Why do you like this game? I mean, I love this game. It's my number one favorite game of all time if you have not yeah. seen my latest, latest top 10. I think I like this game, A, because I didn't think I was going to like it. Because yeah, you, you didn't. said this is a co-op game and I thought pandemic. <laughs> pandemic. <laughs> <laughs> so I think it was surprising to me. And I think I also like the challenge because the first time we played, you said, hey, we're probably not going to win. Yep. And, and that's... We did the first we time. Did. Right? We, we did. We did. Yeah. But... I think our record is probably about 50%. Yeah. We've played this 10 times, I think. We haven't played it in a couple months and we need to play it no, again. Um, but we've played it 10 times and probably won five out of 10. I mean, I, we're still on scenario three, um, but we've replayed scenarios that we've won with other different friends that haven't already yet played this game. So I think it's probably about a 50% win rate, which I agree, I like. I don't wanna win a co-op game every time. I mean, it's. It depends, I guess. But for me, I like the challenge as well. I think that if it was just like me playing against someone else, I would not be okay with 50% win ratio. Mm -hmm. But because we're working together, I'm okay. With right. That. And you love Elizabeth. I do. That's like She's the best. I mean, if you can't play with Elizabeth, don't play. No, you played without <laughs> I Elizabeth. Know. But and I didn't have as much fun. That's true. <laughs> I think the she ramps up quite quickly. And just does a lot of damage from a range. Like and you can be she safe. she gets to roll a lot of dice, and I love to roll dice. Right, that's the thing. Yeah, a lot, some of these characters can just build up really large pools of dice. I mean, there are multiple times where you're playing where you have to re-roll the bonus die mm -hmm. because you don't have enough bonus die. So uh, I think that's one of my favorite parts about Cthulhu. I mean, it is a dice game. Some people just don't like dice, but I love rolling dice, and I think this one does a pretty good job at making it seem not 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 fair because dice are never fair. It's totally random, but uh, not unfair either, I guess, is the way I want to describe it. I don't know, but I love Cthulhu Death May Die too, so. Let's put it on this side. All right, that's fine. What's next? What category? Okay, so can I do overall first and then sure. my last one? Yeah, that's fine okay. if you want to do that. Overall. I'm actually, so I'm not surprised. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. I think I know them both. Yeah, probably. I, overall. Uh, which one is it, though? So here's the thing. I know them both. Do you so. want me to say the category? that I was gonna say for the other one? Sure. App-driven games. Yeah, that doesn't help. They're both app-driven, right? <laughs> <laughs> but I, that's why I So no matter say. what I guess here, we're also revealing the final one. Yeah. So let's just say that the fifth and sixth most favorite games are Chronicles of Crime and Destinies. Yes. But there's no order except for Destinies. Right. Is Destinies your number one? Yeah. Your number one right now. Dang. Favorite game of all time. I haven't actually played this one we haven't yet, played 1400. But I think it's going to be my favorite because I appreciate the 1400s. Our favorite more. right now yeah. is 1900. 1900. We don't have it right now because Doolin has it. Yeah. But 1900 is our favorite. We both agree that it's a better game than the base game. Um, don't and then, say base game because that confused people last Okay, week. then Chronicles of Crime. The original. The original. Uh, but then she purchased this one when people mentioned that there were premonitions and yeah. stuff like that. She was all about that. So we have not played this yet. Um, because but, Max didn't bring it to the lake when I specifically asked him to. You can't do anything right. I brought Destiny's, her number one favorite game of all time. But I asked him to bring both. There you go. And he didn't. <laughs> okay, so app-driven is obviously something that you like. Some people mm -hmm. may not like yes. that. Um, is there any particular reason that you like it? Does Is it just easy for you? Or what? What? what is it about uh, the app-driven? It's app -driven? more immersive. Okay, yeah, I for like sure. That. For sure. It tells a story more, mm -hmm. I think. Yeah, it's easier to get a story when it's literally feeding it Telling to you, you than story, when you yeah. have to kind of pull it out of the lore itself. Um, Chronicles of Crime first, before we jump into Destinies. Okay. I mean, I know why you like it, but I don't want to speak for you. So why do you like Chronicles of Crime? I don't know. It's fun. <laughs> Well, you like crime, though, right? I mean, I mean you I like... I like crime. <laughs> Did somebody say crime? <laughs> As Batman breaks into Doolin's window. Um, but, like, you love, like, Midsummer Murders yeah. and Death in Paradise That's and Father true. Brown and all those kinds of the crime British murder thing. things. British murder mystery yeah. shows. Stuff like Which that. Which is what? Well, 1900 is Paris. Yeah, 1900 is Paris. But it's still Europe. Yeah. So, <laughs> I, I think that's probably... I mean, theme enough is just that crime saving, which crime solving, which is why I'm surprised we've not actually sat down and taken the time to play Sherlock Holmes Consulting Detective, because I feel like that would yeah. be a hit too. We just haven't played it. 
Um, but yeah, I really like Chronicles of Crime. We touched on this in our review of 1900, but for me, the base game misses it a little bit. It just, it, it made me feel like I was just playing and experiencing, but not really, or I should say experiencing, but not really playing. Mm -hmm. Whereas I do just think that 1900, right, 1900 gave me the puzzles, which made me feel like I was doing more. Like I was smart. It wasn't just me clicking and checking all the boxes but I actually had some kind of agency in figuring out the puzzle. Um, 1400, I'm assuming, has something closer to that, but again, this isn't about 1400. This is just the game we have here. 1900 but is I'm our favorite right now. But I'm predicting that it's gonna be my favorite. We'll have to do a 1400 v 1900 video later down the line. Hey, Draco, and... you could not resist a single video without <laughs> showing up. We appreciate you for that. We appreciate you. So, number one, unless you have more to say about Chronicles of Crime. I don't think so. Okay. Number one is Destinies. This is also by Lucky Duck, so they're gonna be pleased to see this. Um, this one is a very recent release. Just came out this month, well, this, this month. This weekend. Monday. Yeah, super, super recently. I don't know, very recently. We have played through three of the five available missions in the core box. Um, I'm assuming that there will be more missions down the line. Uh, this is a one to three player game. I do believe one of the expansions allows it to be a 2v2 team competitive mode. Uh, surprisingly, different from Crimes of Crime, this is competitive, not cooperative. Um, I wonder, it, it, does that have anything to do with why you like it more? Or is it just the way the game plays? No, yeah, I think it's just the way the game okay. plays. Okay, I don't know if that competitive helped it. My favorite gaming experience ever is Skyrim. Yep. And this kind of, I mean, it's not anything It's not like Skyrim. It. It's not but... anything like that. But it kind of gives me that video game feel, mm -hmm. I think is what... Gosh, you need to play Gloomhaven and I tried stuff. to play Gloomhaven, but I don't. It's heavier. This is a light yeah. game. Yeah. But I think now that you're a little more experienced too, Gloomhaven won't be too difficult to get you involved with. This is a very light game. I mean, you're, the mechanics are, are fun though, and they're, they're different. Like the way that you move your chits on the track mm -hmm. to calculate how many successes you'll get when you roll certain dice. I think that's all, that's all great. Like it's, it's quite innovative in my opinion, but it is super simple uh, but you're scanning different uh, items you're selecting different locations you're trying to solve uh, your destiny essentially you're given you two choices it's a quest right you're given story. two choices yeah. as a character and you choose which of those paths you want to take of course you can switch midway through if you find another way to solve it because you don't know at the gate what needs to happen i mean you know you know the end goal mm -hmm. but you don't know how you need to get there and then while you're revealing tiles and while your opponent's revealing tiles, there's gonna be information revealed that can push you towards your ending. So we're probably gonna do another video on this. Doolin has yet to play this and I think he'd really, really like this game. So I'm sure we'll have more coverage on Destinies in and of itself in the future. But for now, we, we, we love it. Yeah, that was a little <laughs> anticlimactic. I read their thing and then I got distracted. <laughs> <laughs> We're about to record a video remotely with uh, Jeff and Jamie from Foster the Meeple and uh, they chatted in Discord. I saw it and I lost my entire train of thought. So, number one overall favorite game of all time. For right now. For right now, as of yes. June 16th, I think it is. Yeah, we literally recorded the same video like three weeks ago and everything was different. Yeah, like three of I them think, no, changed. these two are the same. Yeah, that's it. But everything else is different. Yeah, there were two of the five. You had... Well, we don't need to spoil it. We don't need to talk about what left the list, but yeah. we can in another video. <laughs> Anyways, thank you for watching. If you have any questions about uh, any of these games, just let us know down in the comments. And uh, now you know what Danielle's top five favorite games of all time are until two weeks from now. Yeah. <laughs>